guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Rachel and I run my own small business from here in Auckland, New Zealand and we sell houseplants and houseplant related supplies. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to another video. We had a big rearrange of our stock and our garage for my small business. I am stupid and I don't have any good before shots. So you're just gonna have to see the before shot from the start of the video. But this is a little bit of a sneak peek of what the after is like and I will also show you in the garage. I did get a good before shot of the garage so let's take a look at that first. So this is the before shot of the garage obviously it is horrendous and really messy and just really unorganized. So that is why last weekend we spontaneously decided to completely rearrange all my stock and my storage for my small business. So if that sounds like a video you are interested in watching it's gonna be a whole bunch of time lapses and if you love time lapses and this is the video for you and if you do like the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button at the very end and maybe consider subscribing subscribing for more videos like this. I also do like weekly day in my lifestyle vlogs and we also do houseplant related content like product tutorials, houseplant tutorials and we also do market vlogs when we go to markets and I have a few coming up so that's going to be really exciting. But yeah first of all let's just jump straight into the video. So like I said I didn't really get any good before shots. I don't know why it was just kind of a spontaneous thing so I'm actually filming this afterwards. Plant room at this room that I'm in right now actually wasn't so bad. It's been pretty organized from the start but what we needed to do was take the shelves that were originally in here out and put them in the garage and we bought two new shelves to go in here because those other shelves were more suited for larger storage. So that's what we did. Let's jump straight into the video and let's start removing the old shelves. So here you can see exactly what it was like beforehand and like I said the whole point of changing these shelves out wasn't because this room was unorganized it was mainly because we needed these shelves to be put in the garage because the spacing between the shelves was more suited for our larger boxes that our pots and other accessories come in. Hello, all right, so it is day two of the storage slash warehouse rearranging, changing, organizing, whatever you want to call it. And we are working on these shelves today because it's raining outside. We can't really store much outside. So we're probably going to have to leave the garage till tomorrow. We will see what happens with that. But yeah, we're going to move these out. And we have another set of shelves basically exactly the same as this. But it has more shelves in it so you can put like smaller products on it. So yeah. So we started off the day by taking the old shelves out. This room isn't as big as it looks. It's really quite small. Um, so it was a bit of a struggle to get the shelves out. And of course I had to give it a good vacuum because we used to store our fern fiber in here and it just gets everywhere. So I'm so glad we moved that out to the garage. And then once that was done, we of course got stuck into building the new shelves. So as you can see in these clips, we did actually spend quite a bit of time at popping the products on each shelf and modifying each shelf height to those products because these shelves actually had an extra tear on them than the last ones. We could put more on the shelves and yes, Nelly, our little sausage dog gave us a seal of approval every time. Once that first shelf was completed, we obviously got on to making the second shelf. Ta-da! The new shelves are up. As you can see, we kind of customized it a little bit. Like we made smaller shelves for the smaller pots and some what? <laughs> and some space. But we have like flyers that go out with some um, products. And then obviously this is back on the side here. So yeah, now we can just restock these shelves. This only took us two and a bit hours. Which yeah. is not bad. Go yeah. Bunnings! Go Bunnings. Let's do it. So as you can see, we started putting everything back on the shelves and this part was so satisfying. Even just spending one day with everything in boxes just gave me the egg. I couldn't handle it. So we just got straight on to putting everything back onto the shelves and it was so satisfying. This took us a good few hours, but it was definitely worth it. Looking back at it at the end.
good morning. Okay, it is now uh, Monday and we are going to be tackling the garage. Um, excuse me, it is so bright outside. I can barely see anything. But yeah, we are going to tackle the garage. Thank goodness it's a sunny day because we have to take everything out onto the driveway to redo the garage. So yeah, let's open up and have a look at the chaos that is the garage. So this is the current state of the garage. Sorry for the sun, it's a little bit awkward to film. Ah, there we go. There are just boxes on boxes on boxes and boxes under there and boxes behind there. Boxes up the back here, it's just crazy in here. So we're going to start by taking everything out. I mean everything, every single box, every single piece of everything. Maybe not so much the stuff on those shelves, but everything you see behind me here, all these boxes, everything, so we can set up the shelves and just like restack everything. So let's get started. So I thought doing this garage would be the most painful part of the entire process because as you can see there's just so much stuff in this garage but honestly it only took us about 25 odd minutes, half an hour maybe to get everything out which was really nice. spent the rest of the day moving everything else in the garage so we could organize our side and we brought all of the shelving back in. Ta-da! We have more storage. We have another whole three shelves to fill up. I'm so excited. Now we're going to bring everything inside. It's like almost five o'clock-ish so about the same time as last time so it should be dark by the time we finish. So yeah let's get storing. This also took us a good few hours because as you can see, we shuffled around boxes. We played with ideas on how to store things so it would be really easy to find. And all of these pots that had been stacked up along the side had to go on the shelves as well. So this side was the hardest to do because we had about 2,000 odd boxes that we needed to store. I'm not very good at Tetris, but my husband definitely is, so he needed to help me out with this side for sure. So this is the final aftershot. As you can see, a lot of the shelves have been customized to certain products to make sure that we can fit more in. That is so much better now, look at that. That is so satisfying. But yeah, that is the plant room done. And this is what the final product of the garage looks like. It's a little bit better to get the shot in daylight, hence why I waited a little while. But it is so organized and it looks so much better. We kind of have all my tree fern fiber products here and then this side is dedicated to just cardboard boxes for packaging and a couple of market accessories. Down the back we have what we package our poles and stuff in and then on this side is pots and all sorts of other accessories. All stacked up nicely, all organized so I know where everything is. So yeah, that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was just satisfying for you to watch as it was for us to do. If you did like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love for you to come and join our channel and also hit the big thumbs up button because that helps us know what kind of content you guys would like to see so yeah i will see you in my next video bye or maybe 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 <laughs> and we have another set of shelves another set and we have another set of shelves back